This is my uh, 1994 Ford Ranger pickup truck. It uh, had originally a 2.3 liter four cylinder and uh, the, it had 200,000 miles and started giving me problems so I decided to make some conversions here. Uh, the first thing I did was made a tilt front end. It's all steel, the original parts, powertrain right now. This is the start of it. It's a uh, six and a half horse Harbor Freight engine, a Predator. It goes right into a go-kart clutch and it's a 54 tooth uh, sprocket there. This is 10 tooth to 54, so it's 5.4 reduction to a five speed transmission. The transmission is out of an earlier 1989 Ford Ranger. So I adapted it, um, used the same dry shaft. There's two pillow block bearings that supports the sprockets. I put one in the back and I put one up front and I wanted to spread them apart enough that I could take it apart easily. And uh, when the bigger engine goes in it, which is um, an 18 horse Duramax, which will happen in the very near future, uh, then I'll be able to just make a new plate and bolt the engine in and uh, we're going to make a few different changes on it. Um, this is the pull start rope that runs through to the dash, which I'll show you in a second. And it's a stage one kit. I put the air filter, the uh, exhaust header, I built an exhaust out the back, made my own muffler for it. So that's basically it up here. Completely rewired the truck. There's probably about a dozen wires for the aluminum dash and um, toggle switches for the electrical system. I put poly bucket seats in it. it takes care of the four-way flashers, the turn signals. It just makes it easy to wire. I put a new steering column in it. The doors that are gutted and just use seat belts. This is the way they did the old super stock drag cars from the 60s. And you just, windows come down. And you want to bring it back up, then you can adjust it at whatever height uh, the seat belt will allow you to. I put a plywood bed on it. It's very lightweight. It's only 3 8 plywood and it's bolted with four bolts. There's two cross members, a front and rear. And uh, made a bumper for the back. And then uh, you can see the fuse panel underneath the front of the dash. Starting it. How fast are we going? 21. Which is pretty accurate for the speedometer. Yeah, well, I'm up to like 30 on the speedometer. Yeah.
<laughs> I, I think it got bumped. about a month and I think I'll have the big engine in it we'll give it a try we'll take it for a ride see if we could get it to go a little faster and uh, get back to you